Welcome back to the channel, dog lovers. Today we have an important topic to discuss socializing your new puppy. All right, so first things first, what does socializing mean to you? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what do you do for socializing your puppy? I like to think of it as desensitizing my puppy to different sound sights, smells, environments, um, noises, anything that I can desensitize him to so that it's normal for him. Cars driving by, cars parking, um, motorcycles going by, different flooring such as wood floors, tile floors, um, smooth concrete floors, carpeted floors, as well as outside on the grass. When they're a puppy from seven to 14 weeks, that's when their brain is going to be able to accept all these different new things and they're gonna be able to react positively or interact positively in those new environments. Um, I know that seems a little bit scary, like I don't wanna take my dog out there because they're not fully vaccinated and I have to worry about parvo and um, distemper and all these other things that you got to worry about. However, for the majority of puppies, they really need to start early because their brain's basically a sponge and they're going to be adapted to um, different environments easier. They're going to be easy to manage because they're lightweight. You know, Marcel here, he was about 10 pounds when I got him at seven and a half weeks. And by, uh, you know, 20 weeks, he was, he was pushing over 50 pounds. So, it is kind of crazy to think about how fast they grow, but they're going to be a lot harder to manage if you wait. The longer you wait, the harder it is going to be for socialization. Socialization for like a guardian breed or a dog like a Cane Corso, it's going to be for life. So once you begin, it's going to set that foundation of socializing for the rest of their life. They're going to be naturally protective. So you want them to know what is expected of them in different places, different environments. When should they actually start to protect you? How um, they should be around family members, how they should be around your friends, how they should be um, around your brother or sister that's coming over to visit one day. Um, they really are very protective. So you wanna make sure that they know what's expected of them in all different situations. What I do to socialize Marcel, when he was a puppy, I took him to uh, pet stores, put a blanket down in a cart, pushed him around. I also took him to Lowe's and Home Depot, and I basically just had been working on downs and sits with a stay. Now this is something that we practice at home first, then in the backyard, then we may have went to an empty parking lot, then we may have went to a parking lot with um, different cars and maybe a couple people walking out in them, but not really busy. So now we've progressed and he actually knows what I'm expecting of him. So when we went into the store, he was already desensitized without training. So now we're going in there and actually putting him into a down stay or a sit stay. And this is gonna be basically first, maybe a minute. Maybe the next time you take it for five minutes, the next time 10 and work up to 30. Since these dogs are naturally protective, it is important to continue socialization throughout their entire lives. So now that you're socializing your dog, it's important to remember that they don't need to meet every single person that they come across or every single dog that they come across. It's okay for them to show that they can be neutral around other dogs or other people. <laughs> He's not neutral around me at all. It's okay to have them in a neutral position, maybe in a down stay or a sit stay, and just make sure that they are non-reactive to a person walking by. That's gonna be the most important thing for you to teach your dog during socialization. If they are reactive to people, start from far away. Slowly increase or slowly decrease the amount of space in between them and maybe what they're triggering or what they're triggered by. There are several places for you to take your dog for early puppyhood socialization. Some of these are gonna be any pet store, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Bass Pro, Dick Sporting Goods, TJ Maxx. Um, these are just to name a few, but there are several out there. There's also dog-friendly like bars or patio areas at restaurants. Hey, bud, what are you doing? You tired? All right, well, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you found this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell notifications icon so you don't miss any future videos on Marcel and Kane Courses. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you in the next one.